hello baby boss welcome back to my channel we're doing your next 48 this is episode 28 and 29 for baby boss sun moon rising and north node if you have questions about getting a personal reading check the description box all right what you see is what you get okay so i'm going to shuffle on my lap because there is turbulence when i shuffle on the silk okay so let's see what the first message is for you Baby boss, sun, moon, rising, and north node. What are the messages for baby boss? Please and thank you. All right, baby boss. One more shuffle. Okay. So I just saw the magician. Oh, wow. Okay, so you saw like I saw. Okay, you, be, you better act like you know, ho. All right, that's what I'm hearing you say. Yeah, so I'm, we have the eight of wands popping out. This is something taking, something is about to happen all of a sudden. I'm getting messages are coming in, like a lot of communication is coming out of nowhere. I'm getting two. This is like the arrows of Cupid. Something hits you. Cupid's arrows hit you or something is like coming to you. I'm getting messages are coming out of nowhere. This is also you. You're talking to yourself. You're talking to your inner voice. You're talking to your inner guide. All right. Something is just like happening like boom. All right. Like I'm here. All right. So let's get it popping. Okay. So this is a really good sign. It could be another fire sign, but this is like something, something has like something lit your fire or you're on fire. It's like, damn, I'm on fire. I'm feeling this shit. This could be like, this could be like words. You're writing a song. It's like, it's like the, it's like, it's coming out like word vomit. You just, you just can't stop writing. You just thought of a great ass song or you just thought of a great ass line or a great ass poem or something like that. It's like all of a sudden your creative juices are flowing. All right. If you are a writer, it's like, it's like the words are just pouring out of you. All right. I'm getting music. All right. Music. Okay. We have, yeah, I'm getting your imagination is going crazy, baby boss. You have a great idea. It just came out of nowhere. I'm getting music though. You're writing a song and that shit is going to be dope. If you're not a writer, this is like something is just happening out of the blue, very spontaneous, like very unexpected. And I'm getting, okay, whatever this is, it's like, it's like something like this, this feeling came out of nowhere. It's like out of nowhere, you feel this, you feel some type of way. I feel so excited for you. I'm getting excitement. Like you just feel like enthusiastic. You feel ecstatic about something. Yeah, we have the nine of cups. Yeah, so it, I'm getting like, you are really in your feelings, but I'm getting, it's good. It's like, you're really in your feelings, but it's like, damn, I got this idea. I got to write it down. Right? I got to write it. I got to write it. I got to write it. It's like you're, it's like you have an urge to do something, do it now, just do it. Whatever you're thinking about Aries, whatever came to your mind, just do it, write it down, sing it. I'm getting to your singing. Okay. You have like music and you have music notes in your head and like, I'm getting like clear audience or clairvoyance. Clear audience is when we hear a song in our hair, in our head is, it is one of the psychic sciences or it is, it is one of it is one of many spiritual gifts, clear audience. It means like you just hear music randomly. You hear a random song in your head. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting like it's, it's something is coming back to you. Your emotions, your abilities. All right, let's see. Your love, maybe peace or something like that. We have the six of cups. Yeah, something about your past is clicking. Or something about your childhood. I'm getting too like, this is like the six of cups. I'm getting a lot of music around you. Like musical notes, maybe I'm getting to if you are a beat maker, you're making a beat or you hear a beat and it's like, damn, I got to put, I got to put words to that beat. That beat is dope. Okay. Are you writing something? I'm getting to like, you're realizing about something about children or about your childhood, maybe about your mother. Okay. I'm hearing, I'm hearing like you're gifted. Maybe you forgot you were gifted and now it's all coming back. Shit is starting to make sense. All right, let's see. I'm getting, you're doing something, you're doing something that you used to do in your childhood, maybe sing or dance or act or just maybe you're humming like, mm hmm yeah, I'm getting, you have a song on repeat or it's like, it's like you're, it's like you're remembering your dreams. It's coming back. It's like, damn, I remember when I was young, I used to want to do this. Maybe, maybe you're, you're, you are around family or you're talking to your sibling and your sibling is like, man, I remember when we were young, we used to do this. We used to draw. We used to paint. We used to sing together. I miss, I miss my childhood. I miss doing what I used to do. I miss following my dreams. Okay, so it's almost like you're, you're going back to your childhood. You're going back to something you used to do that made you very happy. It was very fulfilling emotionally. I'm getting to this is something about intimacy as well because the Nine of Cups can be making love. But I'm not getting that. I'm getting that it's something about your childhood or... Okay, let's see. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. Maybe you, when you were little, you used, you used to talk to yourself or you had imaginary friends. 
Okay, or maybe somebody else did and you're remembering that. I'm getting like you're talking amongst, you're, you're surrounded by people and you guys are discussing something. I'm getting it's a very intellectual conversation or you guys are discussing a Libra. Or you're, it's like, because the, the, the Queen of Swords is a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. It's also a platonic friend. It's having an intellectual conversation. It's having the words. It's like just the word play. It's like it's all coming back. It's like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> I hear you like rapping or something. Okay, we have the nine of pentacles. Okay, doing something. Maybe you maybe um you um you always dreamed about being an independent artist. You always dreamed about being on stage. You always you always dreamed about it's like you always had this dream, this dream of being independent and self-reliant. Yeah, it's like you want to get paid for something. I'm getting story of the chosen. You could be playing that Kid Cudi song, story of the chosen. Oh, since I was young, been grooving to my drum. Ain't not many teachers to me. My potential felt like a failure. Mama said you know better. Yeah, so I'm getting you could be playing Kid Cudi is what I'm hearing. Like the story of the chosen. Or maybe you feel like you're chosen. Or maybe that's the name of your song or something. Okay, what is the uh, Queen of Swords? But I'm getting a lot of music because the Nine of Cups is a genius. It's a genie in a bottle, a genius. Okay, maybe you're realizing that you are a musical genius or that you are a genius just period. Like you were born a genius. Like there's something about you that is ingenious. Okay, but I'm, maybe I'm getting too like there, there are adults here or there's people turning, your, turning their back on you because you're realizing something that you want to do. There's a lot of people that are going to turn their back on you because of this. But do you, do, do what makes you happy, baby boss. I'm getting people are jealous because you are a genius. And I'm getting some, I'm getting people always knew that you were a genius too. Maybe when you were young, you talked to yourself or you had imaginary friends or you would write books or you would sing or you would draw or you had amazing gifts your whole life and people have been, people ignore you. They turn their back on you. They try to ignore your gifts because of jealousy. It's jealousy. Okay, what's the Queen of Swords? Now, this could be your mother because sometimes the Queen of Swords can be a mom, someone who's mean or nasty or someone who, who just flat out ignores you. Or this could be a platonic friend that you have been ignoring. Right. What is the Queen? I'm getting too, like somebody tried to tell you that you were like, wow, wow, you are a genius. You are so talented, but you ignored them. You didn't listen to them or something. What's the Queen of Swords? Yeah, the, yeah, the Chariot. It could be a Cancerian, but I'm getting like somebody moved on or somebody moved away because you were ignoring them. Or maybe maybe this person, this person is ignoring you and you realize that, wow, they are actually a genius. It's like something is, something is coming back to you. What's the Eight of Wands? Yeah, the love or something that you love. Music, excitement, writing, poetry, speaking. Maybe you have a love for speaking or you have a love for talking or you have a love for singing or drawing or writing or some type of musical instrument that you used to play. I'm getting you want to go back to doing that, but everybody might not be on board and that's okay. That's okay. It's okay to follow your dreams. It's okay to get what you want in life because the, the, the nine of cups is also your, your fortune. What's owed to you? Okay, what is the, so this, this actually could be a lover, a Gemini. I'm getting a Gemini or a Libra. But I'm getting you realize that you love someone or that you are in love with someone. Maybe you want children with this person, somebody from your past. But it's almost like whoever this person was that you were in love with, they, they brought out the best in you. They comforted you. They, they supported you. They, they, they were a supporter of you or, or whatever you wanted to do here. And I'm getting maybe you wanted kids with this person or you want to go back. You want to revisit the past and say, hey, you want to, you know, I've been thinking about this, that and the other. How are you or something? OK, what's the six of cups? What's the six of cups? Now, you may have pushed this person away or your or other people may have pushed this person away. But it looks like you want to make peace. You want to apologize or this person wants to apologize to you. It could be a water sign. Okay, yeah, we have the devil. Yeah, see? Now, this could be a Capricorn. Now, when I see these two cards together, this is like something has been hidden from you. The light was, the light was hidden from you because the devil hides the light. It could be a Capricorn hiding your past from you or like 
maybe you're maybe you're looking at old photo albums or you're looking at old music and you're trying to figure out what the hell is going on but someone's like no that's not true that wasn't you or it's like now this is this is very common amongst families who are religious they may be saying like oh that's the devil or that's witchcraft or okay so <laughs> what's your point okay it's witchcraft okay so what's your point so this so it could be a capricorn saying this to you but it's almost like somebody is trying to hide your past from you or hide your gifts or keep you in the dark about who you truly are i'm getting to like somebody made you turn your back on a friend or someone who was like in your corner what's the devil card but it's like because somebody is codependent on you. Somebody is living vicariously through you. I'm hearing we are not our parents. And this is very common. You're not, you're not the only one going through this. Like it happens to the best of us. What's the devil card? It's almost like when someone when someone does not follow their dreams, they try to project their fears onto you so that you don't do the same so that you do the same. I'm also getting too I keep getting like this weight gain in your reading. Someone is you're gaining weight. Or you're like I don't know, like you have not been grooming yourself. Because maybe somebody told you that was the devil, like it's the devil to get a wax or it's the devil to be too thin or some craziness. Okay, what's the devil card? What's the devil card? <laughs> it's like everything is the devil these days. What's the, okay, we have the three of swords. Yeah, it's, it's almost like because the devil's like attachment. It's a negative attachment. It's like you miss doing something and somebody knows that you miss it, but they... It's like they keep you from it because they're codependent on you and they're living vicariously through you. So they're making you do something that you don't want to do. I'm getting you miss someone. You miss your friend or you miss your ex. But this person's like, no, they're, they're the devil. Like, what the hell? It's like, what isn't the devil these days? Goddamn. <laughs> Shit. Okay, we have, the, we have the Ace of Swords. Yeah, you have cl you're going to have clarity about a situation. You know what you want. You know the truth. Like, stop letting people tell you what is, what's bad and what's good. Gain your own definition of, gain your own morals. Think for yourself. I'm getting this, is th you thinking for yourself. What do you want out of life? What makes you happy? What are your dreams? What are your wishes? Like, what do you want? Who do you love? Stop letting somebody dictate how you live your life and what you do. It's just like, unless you're like five or something, you should not be watching this video then. What's the, uh, what's the, what is the Queen of Cups? What's the Queen of Cups, please? It almost reminds me of like the water boy. His mom told him like girls were the devil, sports were the devil, drinking was the devil, being in love was the devil, wearing jeans was the devil, wearing tennis shoes was the devil, wearing makeup is the devil, being happy, that's the devil. This is the devil. If you look outside, you're the devil. It's like, damn, what isn't, is, what, what isn't the devil? It's like, shit, everything is the damn devil? It's like, you just can't escape that devil, huh? It's like, shit, I can't do nothing. Unless you're doing what they want you to do. As long as you're doing what they want you to do, as long as you're under their rule, you're, you're not the devil. I'm not the devil, but everything and everybody else is. Follow me, only me. If you don't follow me, you're the devil. <laughs> what the hell? Don't watch Astro Queen. She's the devil, okay? What is the Queen of Cups? This is wow. What's the Queen of Cups, please? Yeah, the, okay, we have the uh, title card. It, it did want to come out. Okay, so maybe you want to get married or you're in love with someone else, but I'm getting like, you want to you wanna sign a contract. Maybe you want to be signed like to a music label or you want to do something. I'm getting two. Maybe you want to be, you want to write scripts or you want to write books or you, you're writing a novel or something like that. Maybe you want to be an occultist. You want to be, maybe you want to be a tarot reader or you want to study the occult or the psychic sciences, clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentient. Maybe you are. Maybe you have a gift that it's like coming back to you. Maybe you're having a vision like, damn, I'm having visions. I don't know where these visions are coming from. I'm getting to a lot of you. You were, you were probably diagnosed ADHD and somebody put you on Ritalin to kill, the, to kill that, to kill your visions or to kill your gifts. Could be your parents. They didn't know how to handle your gifts, so they just gave you medicine for it. 
It's like somebody's trying to kill your genius. Like, because you are a genius. It's showing up in your reading. And it's like somebody medicated you or gave you medication to kill that. Because somebody, somebody realized that you were a psychic or that you were highly gifted. So they, somebody has you on pills or you're taking pills to kill that or your parents gave you pills or something. What's the, what's the uh, Knight of Cups? I'm getting, I'm hearing like Adderall or, or Ritalin or something like that. Okay. Yeah. So this is like, it's like you're taking your time saying sorry or because you don't want to disappoint your parents or you don't want to disappoint the people around you or. I don't know, maybe you're afraid of being judged or you just, you're just you doing more thinking than acting. What is the uh, Knight of Pentacles? Because it's almost like you were going to say something, but you stopped in your tracks like, no, I'm not going to do that because that's the devil. Saying sorry is the devil. Being forgiving, that's the devil. You know, giving somebody closure, that's the devil. It's like, <laughs> okay, you're just, the, you're just, you're just surrounded by devils, I guess. What's the, what's the Nine of Pentacles? Yeah, the Six of Swords. Yeah, I'm getting to you maybe wanting to relocate or just move on from the past. You don't want to be mad anymore. But I'm getting somebody is like telling you, if, if you're too forgiving, you're the devil. <laughs> no, let me stop. You could, be, you could be a part of a cult or a very religious family. And maybe maybe love is the devil having sex. That's the devil. All right, what is, what is the nine of cups? Let me stop playing with you, baby boss. All right. Better stop playing. That's the devil. What's the nine of cups? <laughs> okay. We have the we have the four of wands and we have the ten of cups. Yeah, you're gonna be fine. I'm getting I'm getting you want a relationship that's more balanced. I'm getting you want your own home. You want your own apartment. You wanna do what makes you happy. I'm getting you're gonna be fine though. If you've been worried or heartbroken about something, you're gonna be okay, all right? We have the ten of cups, something. It's like you're you want you wanna make your dreams come true and you can. You may have to go alone or do it solo. It may be you and it may be you and this person against the world because people are not going to be supportive of you, especially if you're going against tradition, religion, the family. <laughs> okay. Or maybe you don't want to be married. Maybe you don't want to be married. Maybe you want to be single. Maybe you have no interest in having children or being married. And they're like, being single. That's the devil. <laughs> okay. Okay, what's the chariot? What is the chariot? But it looks like you are going to move on. You're going to have a clear head. You're going to be okay. All right. Yeah, we have the four of cups. Yeah, it looks like somebody is like guilt tripping you from moving on or some. It's This could be your car as well. But it's like somebody is somebody is making you very apathetic about your dreams or moving on or saying sorry or just getting over something. Because maybe, maybe they're holding, somebody is holding on to the past. Like somebody is holding on to a broken heart or a relationship. And you're like, man, just get, you're like, get over it. But no, someone's like, no, you can't leave me because I'm going through a breakup or I'm heartbroken. I would be so heartbroken if you left. You can't leave me. I need you. I'm your mom. I'm your dad. I'm your sister. I'm your brother. You can't leave us. If you leave us, I don't know what I would do without you. You're my everything, baby boss. You can't just leave me like that. You can't just leave me here to wallow in my sadness alone. It's almost like misery loves company and they want to bring, this person is bringing you way down. It's like somebody is, de like you're depressed because somebody else is depressed. Somebody can't get over their past and they're mad that you can. They're mad that maybe that you're better than them or something or that you're doing better. You have a better mentality. You have more life, more spunk. What's the four of cups? It's like, if you move on, baby boss, I don't know what I would do. I would just be so heartbroken if you left. I just, oh, woe is me. Yeah, the ten of wands, yeah. It's becoming a burden. You're stressed out. We have the ace of pentacles, but here's the hand of God. There's going to be an opportunity that presents itself. This is your north node. This is your destiny. It is coming. Somebody does not want you to, to realize self-prophecy or somebody does not want you to follow your dreams or your destiny. Feeling like somebody is guilt tripping you and making you feel sad and depressed and heartbroken when it's not even your problem. It's their problem. Somebody can't let go of their past or they can't let go of their broken heart or their childhood or whatever. Okay, so let's see. Love Oracle cards. 
Yeah, we have it's safe for you to love. I'm getting, this is about your ex. It's safe for you to love this person. This person is going to support you. I'm getting they always have supported you. Maybe you allowed somebody else to tell you different, but you know the truth. And we have new love. Yeah, it looks like you want new love with somebody old. Yeah, we have reconciliation. This person, ha this person has been watching you maybe from a distance. You don't even know it. But there is going to be reconciliation, here. maybe even marriage, a marriage of spirit and matter. Okay, I'm getting you have been thinking about this person for quite some time, quite often as well. And you've been missing them. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. Don't forget to like the video, leave your comments and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.